Hey, I'm Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Got another item I'm going to add to my giveaway in the raffle. As soon as it happens, I got to figure out how to got to figure out a way to make a good raffle that's uh, fair for everyone. Anyway, got a new item here. Let me rearrange the camera, and I'll be right back with you. Here I have, sold by Powerfix, brand name, there we go, I have a moisture meter that I purchased. Here we go. I don't really need a moisture meter, but I thought it was a pretty cool item to do a review on. There we go. I'm trying to get the glare off this thing. Anyway, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to open this up. Okay, here we go. Here is the paper that was in the blister pack. Something just fell out and hit the floor. Construction and wood moisture meter. Detects moisture in wood, walls, and building materials. LECD screen displays moisture level in percent. Temperature readout and battery indicator. Includes batteries and instructions with reference values. There we go. Put out by Powerfix. I think I said that already. Construction. There we go. Inside this card is empty. Let me get this little instruction sheet down here. Here are, here is the, uh, here we go, right here. Here is the unit itself. And I took the cap off, right here. And you see the two prongs sticking out. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm not used to the camera angle right here. But anyway, here's the two prongs that stick out. And what you do is, once this is turned on, you put this two prongs into the piece of wood or wall or whatever you have and check out the moisture content. Pretty easy thing to do. Not an issue there. Now, I believe I'm in the state of Georgia and it, for wicking, working with wood, wicking with wood, <laughs> your moisture content needs to be, I believe, the between four and six percent for for best working uh, use. I could be wrong, but you can correct me if I am. Here's the basic instruction manual. It has the, the how to use the buttons right there. So, what am I going to do first? This video is going to take a couple of weeks. I'm going to go out and cut a, a limb off of a tree, come back in, and we're going to put the moisture meter on it and check the moisture meter, and we're going to check it every four or five days or so and see how much it changes. But in the meantime, I am going to take the back off, put these batteries that were provided into the tool, this is alkaline. It's not a, um, I don't think this is a great battery, but it's good enough. At least it came with batteries, right? So, let's insert these into the tool. While I'm doing this, I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to go cut a piece of a limb off of a tree, and I'll be right back. Quickly going through these instructions. You'll notice on here on the LED display that there is a number uh, number one under the percentage. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, there we go. Anyway, um, number one is for birch, beech, cherry, larch, and spruce. Number one is also for oak, pine, maple, ash, and Douglas fir. Number two, cement, screed, and concrete. Number three is for anahyde, androdride, screed, plaster, whatever that is, I don't know. Number four, 
cement mortar, number five, lime mortar, number six, brick. And it has a range that this is good for. Let's see here. There we go. How's that look? Anyway, suggested range when you should use it, when you shouldn't use it. It has a battery display, temperature display, reset function, cleaning and care. Uh, let's see here. So where did I say that was pretty, pretty interesting in here? What page was that on? Anyway, pretty pretty simple thing to use. Okay, now I'm gonna put you on hold, go cut up a limb, and come right back. Okay, here's a piece of wood that I found outside. Freshly cut off the, uh, I call them weed trees. But you know how these things sprout up all the time. Anyway, it doesn't really matter what type it is. It is approximately Approximately an inch and an eighth inch across. And this end, the di diameter, about the same. And this one's a little bit smaller. So, let me take this cap off of here. Let me turn it on. And since I don't really know what kind of wood it is, I'm going to leave it at number one. And I'm going to push it into the wood. There we go. Right now we have 30.5% in this, this room that shows us 80 degrees in here. I don't think it's that warm in here, but I don't know, could be. Here we go, if you can see that. 30.3% moisture. And this is Sunday, Feb uh, August 4th. So let's come back in a couple of days and check the moisture content on this again. Okay, folks, I'm back here. It's August the 20th, several days after we did this other test. Here is, I took the, there'll be a, making a circle around here. You can see the two prong holes in here. Let's go ahead and test it and see what it is. Here's the moisture meter. Get this cap off, turn it on. And it shows 75 degrees in here. And it is on level one, as you can see right there. Maybe. There we go. Level one. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the same holes as before. Push it in. It still shows 75 degrees in here. Now the Meter shows 20%. Let's see if we can get, there we go, maybe you can read that, 20%. So it's gone down over 10% in just a couple of weeks. So, like I said earlier, I don't know how accurate this is, but for what I do, it should be accurate enough. So for under 10 bucks at Lidl, L-I-D-L. I don't think you can go wrong with this. If you need a cheap little moisture meter, give it a shot. I'm sure they'll have it on sale again soon. My name's Carl, and I do appreciate you being with us today.